Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a logo using the golden ratio. This time we are going to be guided by a sketch and it is really advisable that when using golden ratio, it's better that you base on a sketch. So it's what I'm going to be showing you today. Without wastage of time, Let's jump into Affinity Designer to start with our creation. This is our sketch that we are going to be using, that we are going to base on in order to make our logo using the golden ratio. But first of all, we are going to construct the golden rectangle. So, and then after it, we shall extract the golden circles from our golden rectangle. So, grab your rectangle tool. Construct a small square of about 50 by 50. Then after, make a duplicate out of this and align it. Make sure that they both align and attach each other. So, grab your rectangle tool, holding shift from this corner, draw another perfect square. And then, holding shift from this corner, construct another square perfect square and uh, make sure that it aligns with the others from this corner holding shift draw another square and do the same here up from this corner holding shift construct another so let me move it a little bit down here just hide this sketch of ours. So then we're going to construct another last square of ours. So holding, get your rectangle tool, holding shift, construct another one. So select all, holding shift, resize, yeah, up to something of the, the sort, yeah, resize it. Now from this golden rectangle of ours, we are going to extract the circles. So we are going to first draw circles in these squares of ours, then extract them and start creating the logo. So get your ellipse tool, holding shift from this corner, construct a circle, draw a circle. Make sure that it aligns, it touches, it touches the lines of the square so do the same to all other squares holding shift draw a perfect square holding shift draw a perfect square you have to make sure that it aligns and touches to the lines of the squares So now we are done with drawing the rectangle golden the, the golden rectangle. So now we can put back our sketch. What are going to now the next step we are going to make sure that this sketch is a little bit smaller than the bigger circle. So get the circle of ours, bring it here. Make sure that you don't resize this the golden circle, but rather resize the sketch. Don't distort the size of the golden circles. So I think I'm um, here. Yeah, here is better. So now what we are going to do the next step, we are going to align these golden circles of ours to the 
lines of our sketch so reduce the opacity to at least 70 percent and then lock our sketch holding control create duplicates out of these golden circles and align them to the sketch at least try to be perfect yeah so get the bigger circle come and align it make sure that try to align it now get this other smaller circle holding control create a duplicate and come align it here it doesn't need to be as perfect as the sketch as long as you try to be geometric as you're aligning your golden circles so we are going to select these two circles of ours and then come here press click on intersect so that you can make the only this shell the only this part so when you're done this now we are going to align circles to create this the rest of the body parts of this that of ours so create duplicates out of the golden circles come align them to the sketch of ours get another duplicate out of this make sure it aligns so this is all that is required just make sure that try to be factored try to be perfect as you're aligning these circles to the lines of the sketch so i'm going to fast forward this process So when you're done with aligning now the next thing we are going to do so i can i think i can remove this golden rectangle and the circle they're no longer needed so now the next thing we're going to do select all the circles having an old tool selected come here and select the XO tool the XO operation this is like the shape builder tool in affinity design now after doing that this is what will happen so holding command or control on your keyboard delete the unwanted lines just hold control on your keyboard then click on the unwanted line so that it can be deleted just simple like that so just do as i'm doing remove these unwanted lines this is like the shape builder tool the one found in adobe illustrator but this one is in affinity designer when you're done with removing the unwanted lines don't rush to shading when you rush this is what happens you try to add the fill color this is what happens the first the fill color isn't applied to the whole shape so before adding the fill color first select all the curve points and then join the curve so that it becomes one compound shape don't worry about these new lines that form themselves just delete them press Control command and keyboard to this to delete these lines that have just created themselves. So when you have deleted, now since this is one compound, it's one compound shape, the full color can be applied. So the next thing we are going to do is to shed our new logo. Now this sketch of ours can be removed. Actually, let me drag it to the center so that yeah we can do it perfectly so for this case these are the gradients that you are going to use you can 
make yours the ones of your choice so but for me this is what i decided so select this body part of ours grab the fill tool in order to apply a gradient then start making the gradient yeah align it to your best choice so <clears throat> at this point i want to put this part this color and then to this other point i'm going to apply the lighter the lighter color so now this is this is how it looks and then shading this shell of ours i mean this i want also use gradients from this side here so apply this part of ours with a lighter color so select the picker use this color and then this downer one apply a darker color now i select all and then remove the stroke so this is how it will look this is how it will look now the next thing i'm going to add some more little content some some little designs so select this shell of ours press command or ctrl j on your keyboard in order to create a duplicate then come to the blend mode and apply soft color so get the gradient so now we are going to change how the gradient flows yeah and we are going to be using white from white to transparent yeah so make this part be transparent so reduce make it also white and then reduce its opacity so after doing that we are going to get this shape of ours and put it inside this shell of ours so move it a little bit up like this and i think we're going to make some changes in the gradient yeah so that it looks like a little bit like this so after doing that we are going to create another duplicate of this exact shape move it a little bit up yeah, so that we have something of this sort mm -hmm. then we are going to add some more details to the body of this start of ours so get the pen tool make here a point a point point another point so selecting the node tool you are going to bend this a little bit up it's like we are making the mouth of this turtle then when you're done you are going to insert this shape of ours inside the body of the turtle so drag this layer make sure that the way this line appears changes to this kind here so now it is inside the next thing we are going to do we are going to pick this exact dark color and then change the blend mode to soft soft light so and yeah something of this kind then select the pen tool to make another to put more details so come here put a point here and then put another point here and then here and then here so select the new tools so that you can bend these lines of ours that we have drawn and yeah just like this and also do the same change the blend mode to soft light and then get this color of ours using the color picker yeah. make it a little bit darker 
Dotacom and then and add another detail or something of the shadow from this point to this point and then this point and this point so now no to yeah this suit then give it a color because I color dark color somewhat dark change the plain mode to soft light make some adjustments Let it appear like a shadow from this shell of the turtle. Yeah, just like that. Nah. So, guys, thank you for watching this tutorial up to the end. We have just made this turtle log of ours using the golden ratio. So, thank you guys for watching those. That I haven't subscribed to the channel please kindly hit that subscribe button and if I totally have enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button stay tuned to the channel more tutorials are coming stay blessed